Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. A few weeks ago, a company I had never heard of, Lumentac, um, sent me an email saying, hey, we like your channel. We've got a new compact pistol light. Would you like to test it? Sure, why not? I'd had them send it and it arrived this week. And this is it. It is the Lumentac Sightword 800 Lumen Weapon Mount Light. And um, it is their first product. I checked their website. They are located in Hong Kong, and this is produced by them in their own factory. So, we're going to have to go to the tabletop, take a closer look at this. So, the light arrived in this nice, quite stout plastic case, which is good. Uh, on the top, of course, it says Lumentac, has their uh, website, email support, the name, the sight word, model S100 indicated. Apparently, they will be coming out with an S100L, because there's a space for that. And it specifies 800 lumens, 90 meters, and 65 minutes. And um, I'm going to guess that the 90 meters is accurate, because I was quite easily able to illuminate treetops down the street with the light not mounted on a gun. When we open it up, we've got the instructions, which are pretty good. We have, of course, the light itself. We have a charging cable, plugs into a standard USB, and engages with a port covered by a little rubber flap back here. And uh, I'm glad that it's rechargeable. I don't much care that you have to remove it from the gun to do it, but for 70 bucks, I'm just glad it's rechargeable. And then there's this bag. And what is in this bag are a bunch of different adapters, because as the instructions say, the light comes with a Glock adapter in place. But you can use the provided Allen wrench to remove these two little screws and put in any of several other types, depending on your needs and your gun. Um, I did comment to them that it would be really nice if something in the instructions identified which adapter was for what. But honestly, it's not that hard to figure out. And to their credit, they plan to include that information in the instructions. Now the instructions do warn you about heat because this is an 800 lumen light. It gets hot. Um, if you press it against your skin and turn it on at 800 lumens, you're going to get about five seconds before you are really going to want to move your hand. But I did test it by putting it down on a piece of paper and it did not ignite the paper before it scaled down to 300 lumens. And that has something about that 65 minute, up to 65 minutes. Because after one minute, the 800 lumen light phases down to 300 lumens, which seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to me. And I suspect that that is why you can get up to 65 minutes. Um, everything that it says is included is included. And um, it said, don't leave the light in a fabric bag or multiple plastic container because if it gets turned on by accident, it can melt them. So, um, there are light, there are installation instructions for the adapters and switch operation. You know, it's perfectly, it's a perfectly reasonable, adequate manual. Um, now, operation is pretty simple. You have these two paddles, you press it in, and it turns the light on. Press it in again, it turns the light off. With it mounted on a gun, if you press it twice quickly, you get a strobe. And if you press it three times quickly, quickly enough, well, okay, I'm doing a video so I can't do it now because that's how videos work. Um, if you press it three times quickly, which is much easier when it's mounted on the gun, um, you get 300 lumen light. 
So it's very basic. Now it is made out of 60, 65 T6 aircraft aluminum. There is nothing at all flimsy about it, including these switches. And um, it's quite solid. Now, this is interesting. If you look at the light, at the lens, this is apparently fairly thick glass, and it is ringed to concentrate to focus the beam. If you look at a more typical light like this O light, there's just a reflector and a clear lens. Um, this actually concentrates the beam much better than this setup. And I would actually consider it kind of a premium feature. Um, while it does focus the beam tighter, it is still adequately dispersed for use even at very close range. Uh, to mount it on the weapon, of course, there is the standard spring-loaded closure with this lever. And you just stick it on, clamp it down, and you're golden. And um, fits quite well on a subcompact pistol. It's very easy to operate. And this is where I have reservations. I do not like the paddles. This is a personal thing. They work fine. There is nothing wrong with them in terms of quality or function that I can determine. But this particular gun, I pocket carry in a jacket or pants pocket, and I determined through experimentation that you will activate the light doing that. More so in a pants pocket than a jacket pocket, but still. And it will get very hot. Now, they do warn you about the heat in the manual. How hot does it get? Well, I ran it continuously for five minutes watched it step down to 300 lumens, the whole bit. And um, the body of the light was still perceptibly warm after 10 minutes. It never got hot, but it got warm. And frankly, you're probably never going to have a light like this on for five minutes at a time. But even if you do, it wasn't a problem. Now I did turn it on to 800 lumens with a piece of paper pressed across it and it did not scorch or ignite the paper. So it may get uncomfortable if it turns on in your pocket or something, but it's not going to really damage you, I don't think. However, I would strongly recommend using this, not using this for pocket carry because those are just too easy to activate. Um, in a Kydex, in a proper holster, a Kydex holster, it's not going to be an issue. That's just a personal preference thing. So, you do have a serial number, and um, yeah, it is, it is a solid unit. It seems quite durable. I did not drop test it on the gun because I like my gun, but as you saw, smacking it with a hammer, a one pound soft hammer quite hard, had no effect on it at all. I did not hit the lens directly because I assume if you hit the lens directly hard enough, it's going to break no matter what the brand is. But this one, like I said, it does seem quite thick. So good on them. Oh, and one other thing, you will note that in size and shape and thickness, it is very, very comparable to an O-Light. I think there is a reasonable chance that a Kydex holster made for the Olight will also work with this. But I really would recommend carrying it in a holster if you're going to carry it on your person. Okay, now the disclaimer. I was provided the product free of charge for the purposes of review. I was not given offered and would not have accepted any financial remuneration, there's a word, to give it a good review. If it were a bad product, it would get a bad review. So, here's the question. Does it get a good review? I'm going to go with yes. It's solid, it's well made, it takes some abuse, and uh, for a given philosophy of use, I think it's fine. And the price is good. Now. It has, I, I don't 
particularly care for the strobe feature. I don't care for the paddle activation. But those are my personal issues and they're not an issue with the light itself or the product in any way. Um, I also find for my purposes, my use and my eyesight, um, given my philosophy of use for this device, 800 lumens is too much. Um, in the close confines of my house and workshop, if this hits a reflective surface or a white wall, it's going to dazzle me. And you want to dazzle the other guy, not you. So I would prefer something closer to 500 lumens. But again, it's a personal preference based on my personal circumstances. Um, I might nonetheless still put this on my nightstand gun because it's a solid product. It takes some abuse and it seems durable and reliable. So why wouldn't I? So the question is, should you? If you want a low intensity use weapon mount light for a defensive pistol or home defense, I would say, why wouldn't you? It's, um, it lacks the features of more expensive units, but a lot of us are on a budget these days. And if this fit me appropriately, I'd certainly spend $70 on it. So, special shout out as always to my supporters on Patreon. All of this costs money and it helps a lot more than you realize. If you'd like to join my supporters on Patreon, there is a link in the description below. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in a less monetary way, take five seconds out of your busy life to hit the like button, because if you're still watching this video, odds are you liked it. And it really helps the channel. So, I hope this finds you well, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.